Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will solve a numerical on consumer surplus. The question is, given the demand function P is equal to 15 minus Q, where P is the price and Q is the quantity, find consumer surplus when equilibrium price is, that is P is equal to 9. So, we have to find the uh, consumer surplus. Now, to find the consumer surplus, we will uh, first find the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity since equilibrium price is given we will uh, find the equilibrium quantity therefore we will write this demand function that is p is equal to 15 minus q also the value of p is given the equilibrium price is 9 therefore we will put the value of p in this demand function to get the equilibrium quantity so put this the value of p in this demand function this will become 9 is equal to 15 minus q now transposing to this lhs this will become 9 minus uh, 15 that is minus 6 is equal to minus q or minus and minus will get cancel implies q is equal to 6 now this equilibrium quantity is uh, 6 and equilibrium price is also given that is 9 therefore total expenditure total expenditure is equal to price into quantity that is 9 into 6 that equals to 54 now the formula for the consumer surplus which we have seen in earlier videos that is consumer surplus is equal to is equal to that the definite integral from 0 to the equilibrium quantity that is 6 here the integration of this demand function that is 15 minus q with respect to quantity that is dq minus the total expenditure that is total expenditure now this will become we will integrate this whole set of here so here 15 uh, the integration of 15 is 15 q minus the integral of uh, q is q square divided by 2 q square divided by 2 and we will evaluate it from 0 to 6 minus the total expenditure which we have calculated that is 50 that is 54 now we will evaluate it at the upper limit and subtract then by the lower limit now the upper limit is 6 so we will evaluate q at 6 so this will become 15 into the value of q is here 6 so i will write here 6 minus now here is q square so this will become 6 square divided by 2 minus the lower limit since the lower limit is 0 this 15 into q q that is 15 into 0 is 0 minus 0 square divided by 2 that is also 0 so the lower limit will be 0 minus this 54 now this will become 15 6 5 are 30 6 ones are 6 7 8 9 this is 90 minus now this is 6 square that is 36 divided by 2 minus 50 Four. now this will become 90 uh, minus now 36 divided by 2 that is 18 minus 54 now solving this again this will become 90 minus 18 that is 72 72 minus 54 so this is equal to uh, now uh, 2 minus 4 that is 8 and now 6 minus 5 that is 1 so the consumer surplus consumer surplus is equal to 18 now graphically this means if we plot the graph of this here we denote the quantity axis and this is our price axis our demand function was this the intercept was 15 here now our uh, equilibrium quantity that we have got that is 6 so i will put a value uh, sorry put a straight line from this point so this is here 6 this is our equilibrium quantity similarly the equilibrium price that was given that is 9 that is 9 now now the area above this price equilibrium price 
and below this demand curve is the consumer's surplus here so this is the uh, geometrical depiction of this numerical also now again i will repeat we are given a demand function here that is p is equal to 15 minus q and equilibrium quantity is also sorry equilibrium price is given as 9 we have to find the consumer sur surplus before we uh, find the consumer surplus we have to find the equilibrium quantity and equilibrium price since equilibrium price is given we can easily find the equilibrium quantity so we have to put the value of price in this equation to get the value of q that is the equilibrium quantity so that we calculated the equilibrium price was 9 and after manipulating this demand uh, demand function we got the equilibrium quantity that is 6 now the total expenditure by the consumer is equal to price times quantity that is 9 into 6 is equal to 54 uh, the formula for the consumer surplus is we integrate the demand function from 0 to the equilibrium quantity that is q uh, which is given as 6 and we integrate this demand function with respect to q and subtract it by the total expenditure here uh, it is to be uh, understood that this total expenditure is not integrated here so this is a separate uh, portion here actually if i put this in this bracket is this will make it more easy to understand so we don't integrate this total expenditure here now uh, integrating this now the integration of uh, integration of 15 the constant is because we are integrating with respect to q so this will become 15 uh, into q similarly the integration of q is q squared divided by 2 because uh, when we integrate uh, this the exponent uh, gets added by 1 because here the exponent is 1 this become 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2 and we divide by the resulting exponent that is 2 which we have seen in the rules of integration in earlier videos um, we will evaluate this then from 0 to the equilibrium quantity minus the total expenditure is given that is 54 now inserting the value of uh, upper limit that is 6 in place of q so that is 15 into q 15 into 6 minus here q square now 6 square divided by 2 minus since the lower limit is 0 this 15 q will become 0 because the value of q is 0 15 into 0 is 0 minus 0 square divided by 2 that is also 0 so the lower limit is 0 the uh, resulting value of the lower limit is 0 minus 54 now 15 into 6 is 90 minus 6 6 is 36 divided by 2 minus this 54 now when solving this we get the consumer surplus at n the mathematical depiction is the consumer surplus is that portion which is above the equilibrium price and below the demand curve so this as a shaded portion depicts the consumers consumers surplus hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe the channel that is economaths where i will cover all the mathematical economics stuff for you thank you everyone